Welcome to the Freedom Unchained channel. This channel is all about how to become free in this world of dictators. It's getting worse and worse every day. Um, I wanted to do this story. I was going to do a story about um, the government killing four newborn babies because uh, they wouldn't allow them to travel to other hospitals to get surgery. But uh, we'll do that one here shortly. This one I saw here on Gateway Pundit. Chicago Mother. Judge took away my parental rights for not getting a con aids VAX. Rebecca Furlitt of a Chicago mother said that the Cook County judge took away her parenting rights for not getting a con aids VAX. Oh, so they're getting more brave and corrupt these judges and politicians and these people that you think are in government for your best interest, but no, they're just in there to be dictators and to steal all your freedoms because they're communists and fascists. The Chicago mother says the Cook County judge took away her parenting rights after learning that she did not get the, the VA double X. This is a judge from uh, Chicago's Daily Center. So I'll uh, make sure I have all the links in the description. You guys can call up that and... Uh, Tell them what you think about their communist, fascist, dictator, dictatorship way of government. It says down here at the very bottom, the spokesman for Chief Judge Tim Evans and Judge Shapiro would not comment on the case because it is still ongoing. That's a great way to say We're not going to be transparent because we're corrupt. The mother said, out of the blue, Judge James Shapiro asked her whether she had been poked. She told Shapiro she had not because she has had bad reactions to pokes in the past. Shapiro then ordered that Furlit be stripped of her all her parenting time with her son until she gets the poke. According to the mother's attorney, the father did not even bring up the issue before court. The attorney of the father of the child said that they were shocked by the decision. Well, of course, why wouldn't we be shocked? You thought these communist dictators were not corrupt and were in it for the best interest of the people? But no, now you're starting to realize they're not. So that's pretty much... What it's all about, that article, it's getting worse and worse, so it's time for people to stand up. One thing I ask you guys to go do is to sign the Declaration of Restoration so we can dissolve this corrupt form of government we have right now that is a corporation that has taken place and is masquerading as the real constitutional government, which they are not the real constitutional government. You can go back to my video and I have the uh, Declaration of Restoration read out for you guys so you can understand why it's not the actual form of the constitutional government that was put in place by the Founding Fathers. For one, we should have liberties and uh, our freedoms, which we do not have anymore. It's the reality that we live in right now, but if we all come together as people, we can get through this and out of this dictatorship and out from underneath the foot of these corrupt politicians. So let's talk how this woman got into this situation. It all starts with the merging of corporations, or you would known as marriage, you know, persons, corporations, same thing. When you get married in the state's eyes, you're merging the two corporations together. So instead of you merging your persons, why don't you guys start contracting with each other? In any relationship, you should have a contract. You can also form a trust together. It's normally called a prenup in the marriage world. But you create a contract. You guys can kind of write out how you want the relationship to go. And if someone violates one side of the contract or another, then... You know, certain things can be unfolded for consequences or so on and so forth. You can then bring it to a real court 
of common law and you could, you know, duel it out if there's anything ever happens. If you guys want to separate, you can become united under God. You know, have a cer ceremony, everything, sign your contract, uh, do a trust, I don't know. Whatever you want to do to make yourself feel all special and glamorous that day. And then if something happens with the relationship, like most relationships do, then you guys can go to an, like an arbitrator and hash things out. Because the second problem is, is when people go get a divorce, they're filing it with the state, administrative process, not a real court, the administrative process, and they're giving all of the decisions and everything up to the state, the case to the state, for the state to decide what happens. So then your property, your children, and all your other property is under the state's control and the state gets to decide what happens to your children because you haven't yet helped your children figure out how to identify themselves not as the person the person that you helped create for the corporation, the, the corrupt government, because you were too indoctrinated and enslaved to understand that these registration of birth, you're giving the information on a form to the hospital for the hospital to, to create a birth certificate from the state. They give the live life claim to the state, and the state then gives you a birth certificate. The hospital also gets paid for this stuff. So if you if you try not to do this, you try not to fill out the forms in a hospital for your child's birth, there's consequences via words. They'll threaten you via their words, their speak. So they can get more revenue for the hospital. But if you're smart enough, you can get out of it. Or you just have a home birth. But back to the divorce part. People get divorced and they uh, file with the uh, administrative process, the state, to administrate their property. And then they decide what is right or wrong to do with your children. So this lady might be able to get out of it if she's not the one that filed for divorce. But if she filed for divorce, it's going to be a hard, hard fight to get your rights back from the government once you file with them for divorce. I went to Tennessee and I watched the whole process unfold. The man said, I wish not to have your services anymore of the court. I wish to deal with this with my ex-wife, my previous wife, my wife, and we can decide what we want to do with our children, the best situation for our children. And the court was like, no, 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 no. You're the one that told us we needed to get involved. You are the one that asked for us to get involved in your divorce. You're the one that filed. And, uh... He got himself in a lot of trouble with contempt of court and all this other junk because he asked the government to get involved with his affairs. So stop filling out government forms. No form will ever do you any good. It's a, like, iceberg. You look at an iceberg, that's the top part of the form. You know, oh, oh this is simple. I can easily, you know, handle this one. And then you look underneath the ocean and it's a huge thing of ice underneath there and that's all of the stuff that you do not know is going on behind the scenes once you fill out one of their forms or applications their whatever you want to call it those are the rules that you really don't know what's going on when you fill out somebody else's paperwork you create you use a document created by another man then you have to follow the rules of that man or that entity or that corporation or that other person or whatever you want to call it But I'm getting off track. The point is, 
Stop giving your property over to the government. They are corrupt. They have no interest in protecting your property except for stealing everything from you. Especially your children. And then they extort you out of money for you to be able to have your children back or to have time with your children or to be near your children or not get imprisoned for attempting to have a relationship with your children. So that's all I really have to say about that topic. Let's not make it long any more than it already has. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please comment. Let's get a conversation started. Um, even if you just want to say, hey, awesome, great video, whatever you want to say, help the algorithms out, beat ba back the trolls, the immoral trolls out there that support and uh, do a lot of bootlicking for these corrupt, devil-worshipping politicians. So I think we're going to wrap it up there. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment. Uh, if you just want to say, awesome video, love it. It helps the algorithm out. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Please share it around to everybody you know. We need to free this world as fast as we can. It's getting out of hand really quick. And until next time, I'm going to leave you guys in the love and light of One Infinite Creator. Peace.